Hi, I'm John from Seal Sash and today we're at a beautiful circa 1882 a Victorian mansion about an hour north of Melbourne and uh, we're here to uh, breathe life back into the windows as you can see from uh, uh, the view behind me the, the old mansion has certainly uh, seen better days but if you come with me we'll show you what the problems are and um, how we fix them. Uh, people often ask us um, can you do anything with windows that are rotten and the glass is falling out and the answer is yes windows can be worked on and they can be uh, they can be fully reinstated. So what we've got here is a rotten bottom rail that's dropped down and it's caused the mullion to become loose and the glass is also loose and the joint has given way and down in here we've got rot that's occurring in the sill. So here we are on the other side of the building and uh, Dean's with me. Dean's been working on, on the windows and uh, what have we found Dean? So what we have here is a typical one of the sills out of this building. Most of them are completely rotten out as you can see here, covered in woodworm. So we've had to remove all of the rotten sills very carefully, making sure we don't damage any of the styles, any of the frames, but a lot of these were already worn out as well, so we've replaced a lot of them. So then we've done our best to match the timber, which is in the building, and uh, we've rebuilt some new sills. So that's been a process of, we've tried to um, copy these as much as we can mm. with the design, the profiles and stuff, so they match with yeah. all of the Matches. So Dean, what's, what have been a couple of interesting things that you've found with this sill? So with these sills, what I've found, which has been very interesting, which isn't like the normal sills we take out, is as you can see on the back here, they have a groove. This groove slots into the board at the back, into the actual, so it, it really secures the sill against the board. And on the front, on the back side, should I say, sorry, there's, there was also another groove here. Now, yep. when we took these sills off, there was a little thin metal strip, a little steel strip which ran across the stonework. This was fixed to the stonework and this sat inside that groove and that stopped any weather from getting driven in underneath the sills and it also held the sill in place really strongly. So basically you brought this back to life? Yeah. So here's a perfect example of one of the double hung sashes which we've repaired. Um, as you can see, the first thing here, we put a new bottom rail on this top sash. This was completely rotten out, twisted, and was not repairable at all. So we've actually renewed this bottom, bottom rail. Also, we've replaced the putting, which has been required around the top sash, rebalanced it, rehung it. So now it works very nicely. Everything's aligned. All the repairs are done. So that moves us back to the bottom sash. The bottom sash, we had the the uh, joints were opened up, so we had to take out the sashes as we did with the top sash, re-glue, re-clamp the sashes. We also then on top and bottom sashes, these sashes were very weathered. This side of the building gets a lot of weather, so we've had to fill and sand back these sashes, prime them and get them working again. So we've also fitted all of our draft seals in around the beads, the parting beads and the meeting rails. So now both sashes work very nicely. Then we've uh, we've reinstated a new sill here. So the sill, again, as most of these are, was completely rotted out. So we've made a new sill, fitted it, and also on the sides of the frames, we've rebuilt up the frames as well, which are also very damaged and rotten. So we've brought the window back to new and working probably better than it ever did. 